evaluation is it's not a thing so much as it's a it's a way of thinking and frankly i believe if you're not asking what you want to learn from a given intervention or a given program at the beginning programs are not necessarily structured as strategically or thoughtfully as they could be and if it's not a shared value with the grantees who understand you know who are really trying to advance their own knowledge and best practices. Uh, I think it, it, the attention and the use uh, and the consumption of, of evaluative information can be, um, can be somewhat limited. And so then there's not the imagination for the next time. So in a place where you have both continuity of programs where you know that you're going to be in it, you're field building and you're advancing, there is a the sense of history and, like, and how you can work evaluation in at the front but also the back end. I think there are too many situations where um, foundations and their grantees have not reaped the collective benefit at the back end to reinforce that. Um, but certainly if you don't if you don't do it, I think there's enormous wasted resources. We, you, do, you don't ever systematically build an evidence base and you can't pull apart, which I think is quite important, uh, you know, good evaluation, you can pull apart the component elements and the data will surprise in many instances and then you can ask the next generation questions about, okay, so why did that work? And think about the next intervention to advance that knowledge. So I think it's, um, and it particularly at, in these times which are so resource constrained, if we're not, I think it's a, a tremendous um, it is the time that we should be focusing on these issues and getting smarter about what it means to evaluate, grow, potentially even replicate programs. But I worry that in the, um, in the press for resources, we're actually limiting our targeting of thoughtful evaluative inquiry. Uh, I think at this moment in time we have a real opportunity to do, um, to advance replication science and to learn from data through good evaluative thinking. There's a strong um, focus and discussion, discourse uh, currently both in the uh, academic uh, environment but also certainly the federal government on how we can identify programs that can move up the continuum of evidence uh, from promising evidence through to moderate, strong, and then actual demonstrated impact. Uh, the, the concern is, yes, the ideal is that everyone can move through that innovation cycle and eventually there will be some interventions where the, where the full impact can be measured and studied, uh, but there's a whole continuum of organizations that uh, are doing good work, have um, good data systems, are doing some innovation around their own evaluative thinking um, that may get missed in this and there may be a drive to sort of one size fits all and we want to really look creatively at how we can not only contribute to the, the full gold standard uh, evaluative design um, but also looking creatively at how you identify the measures of organizations that are successfully de delivering their programs targeting to um, key populations and how we can work with them to, to, to make, make their programs uh, more effective and, and how we can inform refinements to strategy based on implementation knowledge and actual program experience. A, a good evaluation professional, say working within a foundation or in partnership, um, and we are sort of external evaluators, and um, is going to stay rigorous and truthful about the data and the research. You can never compromise that, and we, you know, make sure that we have done the hard work and the right, the right intervention to provide some real, um, real valuable results with integrity. And we have to be willing to share those. Um, those findings, no matter what they show, even if we are, even if there's uh, unfortunate 
failure of a given part of a program or an entire investment. But how you make that those data live and how you um, make it accessible to people who can then work with it um, is a really important challenge. And, and if people think evaluation is like my report card, as opposed to both from the evaluator side and from the program, that you approach it as the only way we're going to succeed. You always have your eye on the prize in terms of what you're trying to achieve and what you need to learn to do it better. Well, and always thinking, um, what are the next generation questions that are going to help us refine this or get even smarter about a particular inter intervention? And the patience to do that. Um, and the evaluator needs to be, yes, I know it's probably often even a team of people um, there that can help to advance and create. And that, to me, is the dance. And I think the foundations bring a tremendous um, hunger to learn and to structure where appropriate, all the way up to randomized control trials. Um, but also understand their places where you just feel in touch, and, but you work with people who can th help think about the next place to advance it.